And uh, I just uh, want to highlight something that why, uh, subhanAllah, when you think about the Kaaba, when they, they the, 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 the Qibla was changed the from change, Jerusalem yeah. to the Kaaba. There should be like something special to the Kaaba, mm -hmm. subhanAllah. And this is, I want to shed the light on it, that the Kaaba is the first house of Allah, the location of the house of Allah, subhanAllah ta'ala. Uh, but above the Kaaba, the people, they don't think that there is a Bayt al-Ma'amur. Mm -hmm. Bayt al-Ma'amur is a special house for angels that Allah himself built it on, on top of the Kaaba. Mm -hmm. And every day there are 70,000 angels entering the Bayt al-Ma'amur, the, the house of, uh, of Ma'amur, and uh, worshipping Allah. Some are, some are bound, others are uh, prostrating. Mm -hmm. uh, and they never come back, those angels, until the Day of Judgment. But subhanAllah, when you think about it, it's like a miraculous, yeah, really. And the location of the Kaaba itself, they said it is the center of the earth. It was proven of according, I'm not specialized, but according to the line of longitude line and this, when they calculated, they were, the, uh, and we have like miraculous number, etc., golden number. Uh, all of this, for those who are specialized in, in, you know, in geography, they proved that it is located in the center of the earth, mm -hmm. subhanAllah. So uh, when we turn around the Kaaba and we face to the Kaaba, subhanAllah, uh, look at the, all these angels, they are turning and rotating around the Kaaba all the time. Mm -hmm. And then people, uh, they, uh, as the Shalawi said, يَدْخُلُونَ مَنْزُومَةِ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ That means they enter, like they resonate with, uh, with the whole universe that is rotating. Mm -hmm. When you think about the electrons, it's rotating ab around the proton. Yeah. And this uh, okay. uh, in a circle, anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. And the, when we, we, uh, and, uh, and we have the, the ovum, is rotating anti-clockwise in the same direction uh, in the sperm. Mm -hmm. And we think about the earth, it's rotating about I uh, around its axis, around the earth, uh, uh, around the, the sun, uh, uh, anti in the same direction, anti-clockwise. And subhanAllah, uh, the, the sun will be rotating around the galaxies, etc. And the human beings, uh, the same way, are rotating uh, anti-clockwise. And this is what is miraculous. It, it is the direction of the rotation of, or, or the circulation of the, uh, of, uh, the blood uh, in the, uh, the heart uh, circuit. Mm -hmm. It's the same direction, anti-clockwise. So like we, we're uh, moving with the wind, not against the wind. Mm -hmm. And you, you're charging yourself with the divine energy, subhanAllah. Especially if you are free from any uh, hatred feeling, you're a receiver, a true receiver. Mm -hmm. So it's a true connection and mashallah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained this. أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْجُدُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَيْتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَالشَّمْسِ وَالْقَمَرِ وَالنُّجُومِ وَالْجِبَالِ وَالشَّجَرِ وَالدَّوَابِ وَكَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ that means the whole universe, even the mountains, the, uh, the, uh, the trees, subhanAllah, the stones, and the whole universe, everything is moving, rotating according and submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and uh, submitting to the qanun al haraka that means the law of movement mm -hmm. uh, in the direction of anti-clockwise, subhanAllah. Talking, you know, about behaviors dur during the holy month of Ramadan, Sometimes or most of the time we hear many people saying that it is very hard to fast, uh, especially during summer, summer or winter. They are, we are not uh, with full power, we cannot work. Even when they go to work, they are not working, they leave early. You know, this is one... They feel like a bit fatigued and, and complaining yes, all the and time. Almost complaining and even no one wouldn't is doing... Wouldn't it be better, anything. wouldn't it be more religious if they don't fast and just work? Yes. Like, I mean, if you're going to... Let them, let them strive against uh, them themselves, but, uh, but we to have continue to give them here some hints. The same yeah. point. Mm. For example, you find many people, even while sitting at work, they are reading Quran. Mm -hmm. um, definitely we're not against this, but I mean the idea is that even at work he is not working, so he, he is reading Quran. That Even I saw a person, he's crossing the street with the Quran in his hand. Oh, yeah. And this is, yes, this is something good that you are reading Quran, definitely. But the idea, That's you right are right. crossing yeah. the street, what yeah. might happen? Beca you are so not okay. looking even, you exactly. are riding a motorcycle, for example. This is something very important, a behavior that we need to change. And, and another behavior is to abuse eating sugar when they break the f their fast. Mm -hmm. 
This is uh, also the terrible, yeah, yeah, as if she, they didn't do anything. Some wrong attitudes, I believe. Oh, yeah, we have a lot to criticize about them. Okay. Uh, regarding the, we have to understand what is the meaning of fasting. Fasting is not abstaining of eating and drinking and sexual relationship, etc. No, the purpose of fasting is an autodiscipline. Why? Because during Ramadan, whatever is legitimate, we abstain from it. Like, everything is halal, legitimate to eat and drink and relationship. By the end of Ramadan, you, uh, you, you, have, uh, it is, uh, you are in a school of training, let's say, and by the end of Ramadan, you have a strong will and you can, inshallah, abstain of whatever is illegitimate. Mm -hmm. So this is the purpose. And there is a hadith that is very, very important. مَنْ لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَنَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ دَاعِ أَنْ يَدْعَ طَعَامُهُ وَلَا شَرَبُهُ وَرُبَّ صَائِمْ لَمْ يَكُمْ مِنْ صَوْمِهِ إِلَّا الْجُعَ وَالْعَطَشْ That means we can fast and our fruits is hunger and thirst. No reward. And Allah is telling us through the hadith and the messenger of Allah is if you don't really behave yourself properly, there is no point uh, uh, abstaining of eating and drinking. Mm -hmm. So if you don't understand this, it's not, there is a true fasting, fasting of your tongue. People, they get angry and they insult each other and all this. You have to behave properly and show it and be uh, uh, according to the words you're, you're uttering, subhanAllah. And uh, your behavior, you're, you're angry. Why? Because uh, you miss your nicotine, your... your uh, uh, cigarettes and you become like uh, irritable. No, uh, uh, Prophet Sallallahu said you have to manage your anger. Uh -huh. he, uh, when they asked him about give me an advice, he said uh, uh, manage your, ang your anger. And la uh, taqdab, uh, even don't get angry. So how come during Ramadan under uh, uh, excuses that I'm, I'm thirsty and I'm hungry so I can get angry easily? I can do whatever I want. Now, of course, all of this we have to understand. We are here to, uh, to, to behave like the Prophet Sallallahu our role model. He never gets angry for any reason. And uh, we have to read a lot about role, uh, the moral values in Islam. I was sent to really to uh, propagate good conduct. Mm -hmm. So regarding uh, work, uh, uh, and this excuse that I'm, I'm tired and I feel like fatigue and I cannot work. We have lots uh, from the uh, point of view uh, uh, concerning that uh, the being uh, I'm consulted in uh, alternative medicine. I can give them lots, lots of tips. Uh, so it is very important to eat the last meal, this before Fajr, dawn prayer. Mm -hmm. And it has to be uh, rich in complex carbohydrates and not simple carbohydrates. This is a very, very important advice. That means it's a long day, we are in summer. Uh, we have to eat a complex carbohydrate, means whole bread, for instance, whole rice, why not without oil? It's not mm -hmm. fattening at all. Potatoes, uh, could be beans, uh, uh, but not like a fruit and only uh, a glass of uh, juice. You know, simple carbohydrates, after a while it goes like this and then you feel very tired. Whereas the complex, it takes your whole day supply of energy, the whole day. So you need to, to, be, to know what to select as food for the suhoor. Mm -hmm. Avoid whatever is uh, spicy, salty, because you feel thirsty. So at least uh, reduce your, your uh, salt. Uh, yogurt is excellent with some bread, whatever. And uh, uh, even cottage cheese without uh, salt. Anything without salt. So, and have enough time before Fajr, uh, don't pray to drink. Not only five minutes. Give yourself like 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, only drinking. Mm -hmm. Because you need to really replace the, uh, the, 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 the water, you know, and during the day. So that, that like some tips, how to avoid like this fatigue. And mm -hmm. in the beginning, it is normal that we can feel uh, a headache or irritable or, uh, you know, the you're really two disturbed. Days, yes. Only first two days, why? And because this is why it's important to get accustomed to it during Shaban. Not only, yeah, yeah, this is why mm -hmm. you get acquainted during that. And another issue is uh, uh, when you, you feel like this uh, headache, for instance, you, when you understand why you're complaining of the headache, you're, uh, you let it pass, okay, it's just a few days. Mm -hmm. Why? When, when you rely on the fats, you know, your storage fats, uh, 
-hmm. This is the only source of fuel. Yes. What happened? Uh, they found that inside the fat, you know, the adipose tissues, there was all our uh, toxins. Mm -hmm. Whether it is lead, DDT, whatever, any, any insect, uh, any pesticide, anything you are exposed to, it is like in the middle of, of your the adipose of the fat. Yes, I have like some pictures, but I didn't bring it today with me. Mm -hmm. Next time, maybe Next. <laughs> we elaborate it. And all the, when when you when the, the adipose tissue are released because they, they are your source of fuel, then the toxins circulate. So it's a form and, of detox. And, uh, and these toxins are the cause of your heart. So it's temporary. And once you get rid of it and you detox during the fasting, you're, you feel like fresher and better. Well, Dr. Magdaim, Islamic preacher, this was most interesting and very important regarding the detox with everything that is going on with regards to pollution nowadays. So most important, we wish you um, Blessed month, yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> inshallah, okay, the blessed month, inshallah. Hopefully, a blessed month, a better Eid. Allah, <laughs> A beautiful prayer before we end the segment, and we're going to take a short break and be right back to resume the breakfast show. So stay tuned. Thank you, Dr. Matt. Thank you. Thank you.